Making your own fish fertilizer can be a great way to enrich your garden with essential nutrients. Here's a simple DIY recipe, materials needed, fish scraps, fish heads, bones, guts, or whole small fish. Water, enough to cover the fish parts. A container with a lid. Molasses or brown sugar, optional, for faster decomposition. Strainer or old cloth. Instructions. Prepare fish scraps, collect fish scraps, guts, heads, tails, from a fish market, or use any leftover fish that is no longer fit for consumption. If the pieces are large, chop them into smaller sizes, to speed up the breakdown process. Fill the container, place the fish scraps into your container add water to the bucket until the fish scraps are fully submerged. Optionally, add a few tablespoons of molasses, or brown sugar, to help with the fermentation process. This will also reduce odor and speed up the breakdown. Fermentation, cover the container loosely with a lid or cloth. You want to keep pests out, but allow some air to escape. Let the mixture sit in a warm, shaded place for two to four weeks, stirring occasionally. As it ferments, it will break down into a liquid fertilizer. The process might smell, so keep it in a well-ventilated area or away from living spaces. Strain the mixture. Once fully fermented, strain the fish parts using a cloth or strainer. The liquid you collect is your fish fertilizer. You can compost the solid fish remains or bury them in the garden to further enrich the soil. Dilute for use, fish fertilizer is potent, so dilute it before use. A ratio of one part fish fertilizer to 10 parts water is a good starting point. Apply the diluted solution directly to the soil around plants or as a foliar spray. Tips Wear gloves when handling fish scraps to avoid odors on your skin. The smell may be strong during fermentation, so ensure it's placed far from living areas. Use the fish fertilizer about once every two weeks during the growing season for the best results. This homemade fish fertilizer provides essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, all of which help plants thrive.